During the 1990s, Voyager 1 overtook the slow deep space probes Pioneer 10 and Pioneer 11 to become the most distant human-made object to venture out into space. In 1964, when Gary from JPL noted that an alignment of the Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune would occur in the late 1970s, this would enable a single spacecraft to visit all the outer planets using gravitational assist. This particular alignment would occur once every 175 years. It would allow a complete survey of all the outer planets in less time and for less money than sending individual probes to each planet. So let's talk about their trajectories now. NASA had decided 10,000 different trajectories from which they had to shortlist two of them for each mission. So the plan for Voyager 1 mission was to visit Jupiter, Saturn and the moon Titan. If Voyager 1 would skip the flyby to Titan, it could even go to Pluto. But Titan was considered a more interesting target especially after the images from Pioneer 11 that indicated a substantial atmosphere on Titan. Voyager 2 was given a bigger goal. Its goal was to complete the Grand Tour. Even though Voyager 2 was launched before Voyager 1, it reached Saturn 9 months after Voyager 1, giving plenty of time to decide if it should proceed to the Grand Tour or not. So the Voyager 2 was first launched so that the NASA people would have enough time to retarget Voyager 1 to perform a grand tour if Voyager 1 was lost in a launch failure. So Voyager 1 passed the large moon Titan and behind Saturn's ring, bending the spacecraft's path northwards out of the elliptical plane where most of the planets orbit around the sun and it would continue its journey into interstellar space. On the other hand, Voyager 2 encountered Uranus with all its instruments operating when the spacecraft approached Neptune August 25th, 1989. The spacecraft flew southwards below the elliptical plane onto a course that will take it to interstellar space. These are a few of the pictures taken by the Voyager mission. This is called the portrait picture of our solar system. It was taken from outside our solar system. And this is the last picture ever taken by the Voyager. It's the iconic picture of Earth called the pale blue dot. In March of 2013, it was announced that Voyager 1 might have become the first spacecraft to enter interstellar space. Now Voyager 1 is in the space between the stars. Yeah, you can even see where the Voyagers are at right now on the website that I put the links in the description below. While editing this video, this is where the Voyagers were at. It's been 39 years since they were launched from Earth. And still, spacecraft and all its instruments are working and we have power to run them for about 2020. At that time, we start to switch off the instruments on board one by one. And by 2025, all the instruments will be off. The current mission of the Voyagers send back data to Earth about the interstellar space. After all the instruments are shut down, the mission will be over. Actually, not really. There's a bigger goal for each mission that they're carrying on board. And we'll talk about it in the next video. I showed you a few of the pictures before. But if you want to see all the pictures taken by Voyager, the link is in the description below. I have made a separate video about it. Just showing you the pictures. You can click the thumbnail on the screen or the first link in the description. You'll surely like the next video. So hope you subscribe to my channel. For all the future video, I upload a new video every Thursday. Like this video, share this video with your friends. And as always, stay curious, stay awesome.